Weak Woman, Part Two. Mom, I didn't take out any loans. Not to worry. Let alone for so much money. <sighs> I don't understand. Ah, <sighs> well, me neither. Who would be able to understand this mumbo jumbo? Ira is a lawyer. Maybe we should call her. Of course, let's call Ira. Right now? Of course. Did Nick ever give you any documents to sign? Sure, from time to time. Such as? I never read them. And why not? He used to say that I wouldn't understand them. He registered something under my name sometimes. If you had understood, you wouldn't have signed them. Why wouldn't I? I'll explain. Nick has big financial problems. He took out a loan and never repaid it. He then decided to borrow again and used all the real estate as collateral including the vacation home. But that's my father's. That's right. You've signed the co-borrowing agreement. You did that as his legal spouse. Nick registered his firm as bankrupt. Therefore, you became responsible for the loan. It was a time-sensitive loan. The interest rate is high. Plus, now there's a penalty. That's it. Lucia, you look like I'm telling you about life on Mars right now. I knew nothing about that. You think you're the only one? Do you know how many women come to me for advice on cases just like this? So you have experience with cases like this? No. I don't have any experience with these cases. And agreements with banks are usually drawn so there's no loopholes. Those who write them aren't idiots. They cover absolutely all their bases. And I don't like to take on losing cases. A woman would spend money to pay my fees, and I wouldn't be able to help. No, sorry, Lucia, but no. Lucia, we haven't seen you for quite some time. Indeed, hello. Lucia, I'll go ahead and say it. We're on your side, dear. <sighs> yes, That's right, Lucia. We are. You're always mm -hmm. so polite and so kind to us. Such a kind hearted girl. Not like Nick. He just walks by without mm -hmm. even saying hello when he parks his car so that he doesn't have to see us. And that trash of his. Oh, my God. She's so ill bred. He's nothing but a pair of eyes and lips. Could you tell me, is he home or not? Really? He's, He's home, home. Lucia. He's home. I'll be I'm sure fine. We're here with you, Lucia. Be strong. You should put your stubbornness to good use. What the hell does this mean? Whatever you think it means. We need to talk. You sure you want to come in? I'm afraid you're not going to like what you're about to see here. This here is Karina, winner of Miss World. <sighs> Honey, and who is this? This is my ex-wife. <sighs> I'm so bored. When are we going to the restaurant? Can we please talk in the kitchen? Just a sec. Well, what do you want? I want you to solve your problems on your own. Well, I think those are your problems now. Really? If you're in debt, give your business and apartment to the bank. Tioma can live with me. Mm. Why would I ever give away such a wonderful apartment and such a fantastic business? That'd be a joke. Nick, this isn't a joke. Of course it's not funny anymore. Not funny anymore at all. The apartment doesn't belong to me anymore. How? Just like that. You've already learned to read agreements. Hmm? Here, read this. Who might Ivan Arhipov be? I have no idea. Some hobo, I guess. Is this a fake agreement? Hmm. Hmm. You've gotten so smart. Pity it's too late. You're going to need my consent to sell our apartment. Darling, don't you remember? 
How you signed your general power of attorney over to my name for conducting all of your business? Yes, I signed it. Because you told me that it would help you. And it actually did help. The business went under and I don't owe a dime. How come? Easy. There was once a firm. Now it's bankrupt. Now there's another firm. The bank has no claims on it whatsoever. It only has claims on Lucia Sherbakova. That would be you. Nick, you never were a mean person. No. You made me this way. It's your revenge? Call it what you will, Lucia. You can make everything go back to normal. Just come back to me. And say that you're sorry. What about Miss World? I'll kick her out without a second thought. Want me to do it now? Same way you kicked me out? Without a second thought. That's it, Mom. I don't have the money. They're sending me to prison. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. You shouldn't have ended it with Nick. If he doesn't get his way, he's destructive. So what now? Here. I'll go to the bank and talk in human terms. I mean, they're humans. I'll explain to them this isn't my fault. In human terms? Give it a try. Excuse me, are you Lucia? Are you Anton? Yes, good afternoon. Right this way. Thank you. The lady is with me. Come this way, please. I never willfully entered into this agreement. I see, but the signature is yours. But I'm explaining to you in human terms how it all happened. I understand everything in human terms. But an agreement is binding. You mean a piece of paper is more important than a person then? I'm sorry. There's no way I'll be able to help. Excuse me, is there any way I could talk to your boss instead? There's no way you could see the owner of the bank. I'm sorry. No way at all? None at all. He's an antisocial person. He never sees anyone. That's a bit strange for the owner of a bank. <laughs> yes, it is weird. I guess rich people can afford to have a certain weirdness to them. <sighs> Excuse me, please. <laughs> It's just very confusing. As his wife, you have a right to half of everything. Of course, that is, if the company was registered at least a year after your wedding date. But what's the point, Lucia? You told me he had nothing left. Ira, he started a new company. You're dealing with a real crooked man here. He has you sign over your power of attorney and leaves you with his debts. I think that you should talk to the bank's security team. There has to be a way around this. I think you need to have a meeting with the CEO of the bank directly. I can assure you, that's your very best bet here. I tried already. I was told that he never speaks to anyone or sees anybody. 
I don't know, Lucia. I'm sorry. I guess you have a whole lot of clients. Uh, so how much do I owe you for the advice? Come on, you don't owe me anything. Thank you very much. Hello. Oh. Uh, hello. Hello. <laughs> how are you? Not so good, but I'll tell you later. What are you doing here? I'm selling a home, and Ira is helping me with the documents. Why are you selling it? Well, it's time to move on. I want to move and take Arena with me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I won't take up any more of your time. Lucia, wait for me in the hall. I'll be there soon. Sure. Thanks, Ira. <sighs> So that's how it is, Misha. Lucia, I'm speechless. No, no, no words. No, just awful. Do you think that this is all my fault, What are you too? talking about? I'm just disturbed by the fact that you never called me or came to me during all that time. I'm not some stranger, you know? Don't you need some support, at least a, a kind word or something? Misha, I'm stupid. No, you're not stupid at all, Lucia. Don't talk like that. You're just used to caring about everyone, to empathizing with everyone. You, you don't even think that someone's allowed to care about you, and they are. All right, we'll make it through this. Listen, what do you say we go to the shop for painters? It's around here. I need to buy some stuff. Huh? Let's go. Ah, you've gotten so weak. I'm doing a huge job now. Thank you. I'm painting a very important person's home, actually. That's great to hear. Sorry, all I can think about is that darn letter from the bank. Do you want me to go punch Nick in the face? Misha. Nick would just hit you three times harder. <laughs> I'm just wondering how to reach the CEO of Forza Bank. What bank is it? Forza Bank, that's the name. Forza? Are you serious? <laughs> Misha, it's not funny, that's the name of the bank. <laughs> I'm painting the house of the CEO of that bank with these brushes right here, it's my big client. You're kidding. That's what I'm saying. You always have to tell people about your problems. Somebody will always turn out to know someone you need. It's sort of like six degrees of separation. Misha, you're so amazing. You're my hero. No. What do you mean, no? Because mm, he's a dodgy person. He's a snob. Misha, I'm not going to marry him. I only need to talk to him once. That's not an option, Lucia. He always drives in his garage in this armored car with tinted windows. He never communicates with anyone. He only talks to his dog. Misha, okay. Do you remember back in school how you were afraid when I wrote a note pretending to be your mother and then we went to the movies? No, Lucia, no. Don't you remember, Misha? Lucia, he's not an idiot. Misha, you'll tell security that I'm your assistant. I'll do the rest of it myself. <laughs> You're out of your mind. Misha, this is my only chance. Good afternoon. Hello. Who is this? Uh, uh, she's my assistant. Why haven't I seen you before? I was worried I wouldn't finish on time, so I hired an assistant. I see. Come in. Thank you so much. I'll come and take a look after the shift. I'll see how work's going. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah, sure, yeah. If you ask me, I think he likes you. <laughs> Shut up. He let us in. That's it. What an interesting house. Come on. It's strange, it's as if nobody lives here. I'm feeling uneasy. You're just easily impressed. Okay.
Who's that, his wife? I don't know. I prefer not to ask too many questions. She could be his wife. Dad? Mm. Remember that program at my school where they sent students to Germany for the summer for college credit? Here's the preliminary amount. No, son. We're short on money right now. Mm. Hey, Tiama. Go wash your hands, please. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you. Oh, hey. Come over here, bud. Hello. Let's go. Let's go. Good afternoon. Everything good in there? Hey there. Good afternoon. Why are you alone? Hello. Are you... M Misha's assistant? Actually, Misha's just doing me a favor. So then who are you? I have a problem that only you can help me solve. That's out of the question. I'm going to have to ask you to leave my house. As for you, Misha, you and I are having a talk. Victor, I was only... I'm deeply disappointed in you. Uh, Victor, excuse me. Please just... save your breath. Let's go. Don't you think a man who has unlimited power should also have some responsibilities to society along with those powers? What? <laughs> All right, then. There's only one thing I want to ask you, and you should also know that as for Misha, it's not his fault. Misha, leave us for about five minutes. You have five, no, four and a half minutes. There's a loan in the name of Lucia Shcherbakova that was taken out at your bank by my husband for repayment of his loan. And his company has since declared bankruptcy. And I'm responsible now. What are you asking? Do you want me to realize how unfair it is? Forgive you and write off your debt? It's actually very unfair. But I'm not asking... I don't understand that. I know that you can sue me if you want. And you'll undoubtedly win. But how would you benefit from that? Considering my income, I would be repaying that debt for decades. And if they put me in prison, it will be even more. Although, the list of the property includes a house that belonged to my father, but one house won't be able to cover the entire debt. Hmm. So, what's your point? I suggest we find a way out of this together. <laughs> Quite presumptuous. I know, but I have an idea. Victor, what if, um, if we sign an agreement under which I agree to transfer all my marital property rights over to you, right? Unfortunately, there's no way for me to prove that my husband has a running business. But you have a security service, and you can find those firms. Half of their worth is all mine. I'll give that to you. You mean you're not divorced yet? He thinks I won't survive and come back to him. In that case, you have a chance to sue him and win the case. No, I can't do that. Why not? We have a son. I don't want his father to be in prison. Moral principles? 
I'm ready to answer for my own stupidity for being naive and signing documents without reading them. But I'm not ready to ruin a person's life. Well, your time is up. So what's your answer? I'll order the credit department to transfer your documents to me. I'll look into them. <sighs> Thank you, sir. Can I ask you something else? Why did you give me your time? He's not friendly to anyone but me. Is that your wife? She's beautiful. And you're a really devoted and loving husband. Thank you for listening to me. Tio. The computer again? Give me a break, Dad. You should go play football. You look like a hippopotamus. Turn it off in five minutes. I'll pay you back. Listen, understand there's things out of my control sometimes, right? You've known me for so many years. All right, that's it. I said I'll pay you back. If I said so, I will. Honey. Karina, not now. I've missed you so much, though. Someone's going to a restaurant and still isn't dressed. Yeah, you're right. I'm not dressed for the restaurant. Baby, I really need a pretty little fur coat to wear. Fur coat? Mm-hmm. I'm sure you're going to love it when I wear it. I totally look like a little rabbit in it. Though it's really mink. And they even promised me a discount. Mmm. Have you chosen one already? <sighs> no, 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 no. I don't choose anything without you. I only reserved them. Two of them. What a sly fox. All right, go get dressed. We'll go <laughs> buy it. <laughs> mm. Uh-huh. So she can get a fifth fur coat, right? But I can't go on my trip to Germany? Look, son. Come have a seat. You do know that I'm trying my best for you. For me? Really, Dad? Yes, for you. I want you to grow up being a real man. I want you to set your goals and achieve them. You think I don't want to earn money for you? Do you know how difficult it is to earn money? It's hard work. Okay, Dad, I get it. All right, if you get it, you can go. Look what the girls made for you. It's a gala dress. A dress? Who the hell needs a dress? Where do I wear it to? Who's even gonna look at me? A dress. Are you feeling all right? Huh. A dress. Help me here. Mm. Careful. Mm. It's sunny outside. The weather mm -hmm. is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Actually, I got you a surprise in the kitchen. Did you get up? But yes, so what? Am I not allowed to be a human being anymore? Nadia, what's wrong? I miss Sasha. Today's his birthday. You didn't know, huh? <laughs> no, I didn't. Right here. Let's play fair. Let's play fair. No, it's 
me what are you waiting you for? You have to let me get I ready. I'm not you. ready yet. Oh, I'm not ready. Okay. Did you just throw the ball already? I'm not on base. I'm on base, so you can't even throw at me anyway, so I'm, whatever. Okay. Come on. Can you? No, you can't. Okay. Stop. You can't get to me. You can't use your hands. Hey, Anya, come here. Right, right now, you're not my friend. Oh, you're not my friend, and you're not nice miss. Nice job. <laughs> <laughs> we need to talk, Anya. I'll be back in a minute. What's going on? Anya, are you avoiding me? No, it's just Kirill's dad. And my dad have a business together. And they come over all the time now. Business. Yeah, I get it. Guys, I'm coming. All right, sounds great. What a feast, girls. All right, what's the occasion? Nadia made everything because it's Sasha's birthday today. Ah, oh, what a great job, Nadia, darling. Great job. Yeah? What? Uh, uh, what? Oh, it hurts. Nadia, what is it? Oh, it hurts. Calm down, uh, Nadia. Uh, Nadia, uh, you're in labor. Oh, God, Mom, call the ambulance uh, now. Uh, oh, uh, 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 okay. Uh, Who's Sokolova? My friend. Well? You've got twins. Two boys, congrats. <laughs> and they're healthy? They're fine, two strong boys. And how's Nadia? She's doing fine. Yeah? Thank you, this is for you. Oh dear, there's no need. Take it, please, it's yours. But what on earth for? For being sweet. Well, all right, <laughs> thank you. Oh! Congrats. Thank you so much. It's me, I'm listening. Okay, it's the bank. What are you calling me for? Call the account holder. This isn't my mess to fix. Hold on, what do you mean? She's not responsible? What, what agreement with the bank? She doesn't even know what the word agreement means. A collection agency. No, no need to come. I'll come to you. Hmm. Hmm. Honey, why are you so loud? I'm sleeping. <sighs> that was unexpected. Good afternoon. I'm the head of security here. Did you want to see me? Yes, good afternoon. I actually came to see Victor recently. Yes, I remember. All right, come in. Thank you, sir. The basket, please. Excuse me, I'd like to leave these. They're just some treats. Well, that's something new. These are pastries, and they're delicious. Are they poisoned? Oh, no, come on. I understand that your security team could find a grain of sand at the bottom of the ocean, let alone track down a client. Yeah, sounds like us. Oh. This is for you. Thank you. Will you give him his? Yes, I will. Thanks, I appreciate it. Yes, and gather the board of directors tomorrow. That too good. Excuse me. Yes, yeah, sure. I'm calling to talk about branches and canty. Yeah, sure thing. Talk later. 
Mr. Victor, here's a present for you. From whom? The girl who came to your house with a painter recently. I thought they might be poison, so I... I tested them myself. They're fine. Tasty. A true hero. So there's nothing to worry about. She's a bit strange, of course. But you can eat the pastries. I'm not worried. Hmm. Interesting. Well done, Tamara. You've instructed your daughter well, huh? She wouldn't have had enough brains for that. What do you think? That if the bank presses charges against me, audits me, and blocks my accounts, you're gonna get something, huh? Screw you! You'll get nothing! You're idiots! Nick, are you finished? I'm calling the district officer. By the way, I have a right to be here. I'm still your husband, you know. Hello, Ivan. Yes, this is Lucia Shcherbakova. Mira Street, House 42, Apartment 87. Yes, my husband came and almost broke down the door. We're waiting for you. <clears throat> Was there something else? You've changed so much. I don't care what you think of me anymore. You regret this. Go away. I'll burn this house down. I will. Oh, dear God. Ugh. What a headache. Ugh. Is the district officer really coming over? What district officer, Mom? Come on, I'll get uh, you some aspirin. Uh, uh. Sweetheart, I heard about the accident, and it was quite a surprise to me, too. The police aren't releasing any information yet. I'm not sure exactly what happened. It's horrible. Uh. Just absolutely horrible. But I am going to find out. You can be sure of that. We have to find out who's responsible. We have to get to the bottom of it. I know, honey. What are you doing? Go to your homework. Yeah, right, you wish. You're not old enough to argue with me. Go into your homework. You wish. You wanted to go to Germany? Behavior, I'll tell Nick and he'll send you to live there forever. You won't live to mm -hmm. see it. He's broke. He'll get some if I ask him. Get your ass out of here now! Don't get tough with me, boy. Do you hear me? How dare you argue with me? Tioma, Give me the Karina, I said. You little brat, just give, give that to me. me! Are you out of your mind? Give Stop the fight! Me. Come down now, that. come on! Give it to me! Tioma, get up! Come on, Karina, come on now! Come on now, Tioma! He hit me! Make him go away! That's it, both of you, calm down! Tioma! Dad, why did you bring this silicone doll into our I'm house? I'm a silicone doll? These are all natural. Right. You want to bet? Yeah, and your stupidity's also natural. Stop, stop. That's it, Chioma. Chioma, be quiet. Why should I be quiet? You dumped mom for this dumb bimbo? Don't even mention your Watch mother. Your, your mother left us for another oh family. God. Screw the both of you. What was that? That's no way to talk to your dad. What Chioma. a brat. Karina, you're a grown Honey, woman. Honey, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. See how he talks to me? He's just an ungrateful, rude boy. I love you so much, honey pie. He just doesn't value you. He really doesn't. <sighs> oh, finally. Uh -huh. yeah. Thank you so Congratulations, much. Congratulations, Nadia. Mm -hmm. This is for Good you. Good luck with the baby. <laughs> Here, let me take some. Oh, yeah. such a sweetheart. <laughs> oh, what a cutie. Uh -huh. He's so oh, good. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Thanks for everything. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Mm -hmm. Just watch Thanks. yourself. Bye-bye. Oh. Take it slow. Take it slow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's so little. Well, everything's ready. I think you're absolutely gonna love it. These are some cookies for your kids from me. Thank you, Lucia. I've given your number to a friend and to a neighbor, too. Great, have them come. We've got discounts for the repair of winter clothes now. They'll be happy. Thank you. Goodbye. Katya. How are the sleeping blankets for Nadia's boys? Sveta. Huh? Bring the sleeping blankets, please. Hold on. <gasps> How beautiful, girls. You've attached the lace. They're just precious. How's your Nadia? Is she breastfeeding all right? Oh, Katya, it's hard with two at once. One is fine, but the other is crying all the time. Give the second one. 
Chamomile water. It's wonderful. My daughter-in-law used to use that. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. I'll tell Nadia. <gasps> oh! Who is this? Oh, oh my gosh! Oh. Don't worry, she doesn't bite. Why are you here? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Hello, Victor. I wasn't expecting to see you here at all. Is something wrong with the documents? No. The documents are all right. I came for a completely different reason. Could you give me, let's say, um, two and a half minutes? Two and a half minutes? Yes. Mm, sure, of course. Come on in. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. I believe we can help you with that. You've got a... Natasha, come out here, please. Oh, I didn't notice. Yes. Take it off. Sure. We'll do it quickly. Well, is the dog okay here? Oh, of course. <gasps> Natasha, we've got a problem here. Uh-huh. Could you? Sure. Sit down, please. Um. Okay. Mm. I'm all ears. All right, this is what I want to talk about. I'm opening a new loan line in my bank. It's aimed at women in their 30s or older. The purpose is to encourage small business, and the owner gets a bonus if the business turns out to be profitable. Sounds like a great idea. Your story was what inspired this idea. Mm, my story? Great, good to hear. And I want you to help me out with this project. Me? How? <sighs> it's simple, really. I want to replace personal customer data and all the confusing paperwork with a personal interview to determine approval. Mm. Give it a human fact. Mm -hmm. Business with a human face? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Something like that. Mm -hmm. I think you're the kind of woman who could actually use such help. A woman who was deceived, perhaps even betrayed. One who wants to get on her feet and start a new life. Yeah, I think there are lots like me out there. What can I do to help you? Could you conduct the interviews for us? I mean, you've got experience, knowledge of life, intuition, all that good stuff. Wait, what do you know about my intuition? Miss Sherbakova. You can call me Lucia. Right, forgive me. You know that in... Recent years, not one person has managed to accomplish what you did with me that day. I mean, the conversation at my house. Oh, thank you, I guess. But you could hire professionals in that field. Psychologists, for example. Why me? I could. But why? You're a clever woman. A very smart person. <laughs> That is so funny. Here you go. Thank you. Natasha, thank you very much. Uh -huh. I'm glad you could use our help. <laughs> so if my offer happens to interest you, we could meet at my bank tomorrow, let's say around 2.15, is that okay? All right then, I'll see you tomorrow at 2.15. All right, boy. Oh, I forgot to tell you. The pastries were absolutely delicious. All 11 of them. <laughs> Why, thank you. <gasps> Yoma, come on in. Hello, Mom. I'm so happy you decided to come and visit me. I didn't come to visit. <clears throat> Are you all right, sweetheart? Mom, could I please come live with you? Of course, baby. Take this coat off. Yeah, my boy. That's all right. We'll fix it. An edict responds to boy. everything. Mother, huh? Nadia, oh, look who's here. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandma. Oh, I've missed you. Hello there. <laughs> Hello. Oh, wow. These are Edik and Siva. Uh-huh. And they are twins. <laughs> they look the same. <laughs> Tioma's going to live with us now. Oh, finally, dear. We've been missing you. 
Missed you so much, right? <laughs> Let's drop by the bookstore. I need some copy books for Tioma. But can he do that himself? I'm actually delighted to do it for him. You're spoiling the boy. You know what Nobokov once said? Spoil your kids, no one knows what's waiting for them in life. <laughs> well, if Nabokov said it. Misha, tell me something. What's with you and Arena? What's with me and Arena? Come on, Misha. I saw how you looked at each other that day. I'm the one who looks at her. She doesn't look at me. Why would she? Why wouldn't she? Well, she's sort of self-sufficient or something. Misha, who have you become? <laughs> Girls always used to run after you, constantly. And you could get anyone you ever wanted. Here is not anyone. So is Irina the one? Can, can we not discuss this right now? Why shouldn't we? You saying she won't take you seriously? Why would anyone take me seriously? All I do is joke and mess around. I think you're more, like, sensitive and romantic. Awesome. You're a total catch. Stop the pity party. This isn't a pity party. No one has rejected you yet. Hero will reject me. I'd bet money on it. Misha, you told me I was clever. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I was wrong. Stop it. <sighs> All right, listen. Irina needs a man exactly like you, Misha. Do you really think that's true? You can't ever take the first rejection seriously. Like Sleeping Beauty. She only wakes up from the first kiss in fairy tales. <laughs> <laughs> You're my fairy godmother. <laughs> we have the agreement with the lawyers for the bank. Look it over. It describes the property you're transferring to them within the framework of termination mm -hmm. of the loan agreement. This is the register of Nick's real estate property. And these are his business assets. It's all right, I guess. Ira, thanks so much. No need to thank me. You came up with and arranged everything. I'm just dealing with the formalities. Thank you for your support, though. I can't help but ask you something. That smell of strawberries, it's very strong. Did Misha bring them? <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> why, why did you think it was him? Irina. Mm. He is wonderful. <laughs> Gentle, reliable, kind, and also creative. Lucia. No, Lucia, no. Mm, I don't need another failed relationship. I don't. Maybe you don't want a relationship, but what about love? Lucia. He's younger than I am. But he's an orphan. And orphans grow up much earlier. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think he'll ever be able to love me. I'm beginning to think nobody can love me. I've shielded myself from everyone with my shell of self-sufficiency and... You just have to allow yourself to love again. And it will all be different for you. Look who's talking, Lucy. Yes, I am. When my life was filled with Nick's love, my life was a disaster. But as soon as I let myself really love, I started a brand new life. Lucia, <laughs> I'm being ridiculous. I haven't cried for a hundred years, Oh, but that's Lucia. a good thing. Always buried in your paperwork. Time to come out of your shell. Mm. All right, bye, everyone. Kiyoma! Are you running away? You didn't even say goodbye to me. 
I need to rush home. I promised to help out. I have to take the twins for a walk. But aren't you tired, though, of taking care of the babies, carriages, diapers? Babies are people. They're not that awful. Do you want to come and walk them with me? Hmm, <laughs> sounds boring. Forget it, then. We're going to have dinner. Everything's almost ready. I, uh, put my apartment up for sale. It's been two weeks and no one has called yet. Nadia, you don't need to sell your place. I'm the one who needs to think of how to expand mm. my business. The tailor shop is doing very well. But no need to worry. I'll think of something. Hmm? Mom, Tioma, come have dinner. Everything's ready. Huh? Oh. You're the only one he lets in. What on earth is in your pastries? What's your secret? Nothing but good energy. <laughs> Thank you. Am I bothering you? You could never bother me. I've started conducting interviews. I wanted to tell you about the results. Yeah, all right. The third one. Yes, sir. Sure. Lucia. I suggest we discuss the results of the interviews at dinner. I'd like to invite you, if you'd like, to my favorite local restaurant. Victor, I didn't expect this from you. Sorry, I... I guess I offended you. I'm moving too fast. Also, the timing can't possibly be right. It's too soon. You didn't offend me. You surprised me. What I mean is, what about your wife? I don't think she would approve of it. My wife passed away. Ten years ago. She was severely ill for a long time. I know everything about pain now. That is... Almost everything. Oh, I'm so sorry. I really had no idea. That's fine. <sighs> no one was able to perform her operation here. And I couldn't imagine treating her overseas. I was just a young, inexperienced economist with the salary of a young economist. Look, sixth place on the left, there. Now I can do everything, or nearly everything. But I have no one to help now, no loved ones. No, 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 boy, I don't mean you. <laughs> I don't mean him. I told you all that not for you to empathize with me or pity me. Why can't I empathize with you or pity you? I know what it's like to lose a person you love. All right. Get back to work, please. I'm sorry. Lucia, just a moment. There's a client here for you. All right, thanks. Yes, I'm listening. Hello there. Hello, Lucia. You look absolutely gorgeous. Hello, Lena. Thanks for that. Lucia, look. You're my only remaining hope. Why? What happened? Everything happened. I understand you so well now. What are you talking about? 
Gira went bankrupt because of Nick's ideas. All the family money is gone. We have nothing. <sighs> Lucia, help me. I need you. And I won't offend you either. You're in charge of loans here now, right? I am. As soon as I found out that you worked here, I realized this could be our way out. Lena, what exactly do you mean by you won't offend me? Anyway, just tell me what I can do to help you. Bless you. Lucia, now we're talking. Let's discuss the terms right what now. What terms are those? All right, look. Lucia, here's the scheme. You are going to give my people approvals for loans. I'll gather some passport data. I've got a man with a whole database. Hobos, dead men, I don't know. And you'll get a cut from us after. A large cut. How much do you want? Are you out of your mind? What's wrong with the idea? Lucia, don't you understand? We are completely broke. I don't even have money to buy medicine for my mom. I understand, but I can't do that. Sorry. Why do you care about this bank? It won't crash if they lose a couple of million. Maybe the bank won't crash, but this project will be closed and real people won't get real help. <laughs> real people, Lucia? Real people? We are the real people. Us, your old friends. Lena, we're not friends here. You're another client to me. All right, so I wanted to ask for your advice. I've got an idea for expanding the business. It's high time we stopped repairing clothes. The girls know how to sew. There are lots of women with non-standard figures that can't find clothes in normal shops. We could start doing individual tailoring. Where would we sell the clothes? Well, we'll open a store. So many problems. Renting a location, salespeople, money. Sounds impossible. You don't need salesmen or a store. Everything's online now. We'll make an online shop and online advertisements, and that's where we're gonna find suppliers. We can even have clients from all over Russia. You know what? I'll build you a site myself. Now that's quite an offer. <laughs> Tioma. <laughs> he spends so much time in front of the computer for a reason. And we were lecturing him. <laughs> okay, so do we do it? I'm suggesting this model right here. And I'm ready to hear your suggestions. I think we should make a cut under the chest and lower the skirt so it looks like sun rays. Oh no, I suggest more like a kimono. So stylish, what do you think, huh? <laughs> Girls, this is a natural silk. It has a bulky texture. Therefore, the silhouette should fit a lot looser. Tell me, what's looser than a kimono, huh? Why can't you forget that <laughs> idea already? <laughs> I'm the one who can't forget. <laughs> Let's go to the back room. I have another option to show you. Show me then. Come on, okay. let's go, I'll show you girls. Okay. You're so beautiful. I love seeing you dressed fancy. You're really a star. <laughs> You'd make any man lose his mind. Mm-hmm, and I've got two of them now. And they're the ones making me lose my mind. <laughs> yeah, I like it more this way. The menu is easier to read. Can we make the images change? I've seen that on another site. No, let's not do that. It's unnecessary. People have different internet speeds. They'll click the link, Hmm? And it'll take forever to load. No, they're not gonna wanna wait that long. And we'll lose customers. Oh, yeah, you're right. I've already made Russian and English versions. I also wanna make Italian and German ones next. Oh, wow, are we becoming international? Why <laughs> not? The dresses are really awesome. You're awesome. Oh, it's all so serious in here. Well, I'm having fun. I'm out of the house. Yeah, you sure needed that. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's take a look at our latest supplies. By the way, we sold 20 bolts of this fabric today. Take it while we still have it. So everyone would have the same dress? <sighs> you are so picky, dear. No, I don't think we're picky. We're just demanding. Right. Well, you know, they bring us the most popular items from Italy. From Italy? Well, I don't know. I browse Italian sites and the choices are much wider there. 
Well, if your volumes are small, you just can't travel to Italy, miss. What were the sites you browsed? I love everything, the choices and the prices. How do I place an order if it's all in Italian? I don't understand. You've got an online translator, Mom. Oh. <laughs> Tilma, Tilma, which hat is better? This one or this? I like that one. This one. Mom, mm. you're just going for a walk. Why are you being so particular about how you look? Mm. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I thought you weren't going to come. <laughs> I thought I wouldn't, too. <clears throat> I haven't been to the city since I left the academy, you know. I had a lot to do. I had to find a place for Demosthenes. He got so darn big, they wouldn't have let him onto a plane. <laughs> and yet you're here. And you look good. <laughs> you know, I've been rushing life. Tamara, I've really missed you. Mm. <laughs> Are you declaring your love? Mm? <laughs> you know what I'm thinking? That these kids could be our grandchildren. Oh, right. Because you proposed to me. Remember? <laughs> I'm joking. I've been building my career. Yes. So have you built your career. But you didn't wait for me. <laughs> what do you mean I didn't? Here I am waiting under the tree and the snow is falling. How old am I? I'm already 60 years old and I still waited. <laughs> oh. oh, I have this. <clears throat> what is it? Uh. What? Is it your heart? Uh. Oh. Is it your heart? Um, it's just a stroke, I think. Do you have nitroglycerin? Uh, to hell with nitroglycerin. Uh, How come? It's only been a week since I've had a drink. Uh, breathe. Uh, breathe softly and calmly. Uh, It'll pass. Uh, all right. You care, so you love me. <laughs> so your heart doesn't ache? <laughs> That's wrong. <sighs> that wasn't nice. Oh, come on. <laughs> Summer turquoise dress goes to Samara City, Mom. I got it. Mm -hmm. What's next? Evening. Okay. Great right. cocktail dress. One item goes to Perm. Perm, all right. Okay. Move on. Up next, summer velvet turquoise dress goes to St. Petersburg. I love this fabric so much. Uh-huh. Yeah, I like it too. St. Petersburg, right? Uh-huh. You're our favorite customer already. Well, yeah. This is for you to <gasps> complete your look today. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Oh, thanks so much. Listen, let me fill in the papers so you don't waste your time. Thank you very much. Wonderful. Mom, I'm glad you like it here. Well, it's just amazing here. Yeah, what a beauty. What is this big house? I wonder who the owner is. What's the secret? Awesome! Mom, we're going to live here. Are we? Oh, come on, Lucia. Yes, yes, yes. Hooray! Hooray! Lucia, <laughs> Lucia, how are we going to live here? It's very expensive. 
Lucia, did you really rent this house? I just want you guys to be happy and comfortable. Oh, Lucia. <gasps> Lucia. Welcome home, guys. Now go on in. Are you serious? Whoa. I'm serious, oh. mother. What a huge house. Yes. Uh, excuse me, Victor, may I come in? Yeah, sure. Uh, here's what I did. I had a meeting with your employees, explained what they need to consider during the interview. Uh -huh. Would you like to stay here? Mm, I'm sorry, but I'm happier working at my own business. I understand. That's all right. Pity. It's a pity we won't see each other anymore. Come visit me then. I actually rented a house for me and my family. We'll be happy to make you a homemade dinner or lunch. You rented a house? <sighs> Do you need any help? No, no, thank you. I'm solving my problems on my own, but thanks. On your own. Well, may I invite a... A self-sufficient woman on a yacht? <laughs> I mean, why not, right? You could maybe learn to navigate a ship, though it's a small one. But it's too cold for a yacht now. Come on, it's only cold here. There are places where it's warm. The Earth's so big. Planes fly other places, and there are yachts everywhere. Mm, this is unexpected. <laughs> Although... I'd really love to go on vacation somewhere. Oh, excuse me. Hello? Lucia Shermakova? Yes, that's me. Your husband has been in an accident. When was that? This morning. Your presence is required. Will you be able to come? Yes, of course. I'll come right away. All right, we're waiting for you. Yeah. I have to go now. All right. Do you need help? Excuse me. <sighs> Idiot. Idiot. Yachts, planes, come on. <sighs> Craniocerebral injury. He's in intensive care. He's unconscious. His condition is critical. We need your permission for the operation. Why mine? We found your number in his phone, saved his wife. He had no other relatives. You're his wife, right? I am, but we don't live together. But you are married, right? We haven't divorced yet for some reason. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you can sign it officially and I can start the operation. We don't have much time. We have to decide now, while there's still a chance. Of course I'll sign it, sure. All right, there's something else. Form of payment. But I don't have access to his accounts. Well, you see, within the framework of first aid, I can only perform the simplest manipulations. This is a difficult neurosurgical operation. It costs money. All right, I'll pay for it. All right. I thought he deleted my number, but I'm still saved as wife in his cell phone. Oh, <laughs> so then you decided to just pay for his operation. <laughs> Mom, we'll see how it goes when he wakes up. I had to make a time-sensitive decision. Are you hoping that he'll pay you back the money? I'm not hoping for anything. I didn't even think about it. Why did you even go there? A person needed my help. <sighs> oh, I forgot. Hello, Victor? I'm so sorry. I went away and I forgot to call you back. I'm all right, yes. It's just, I, um... Uh... I just wanted to make sure that you were 
home safe and sound. Thank you. I'm home safe and sound. Good night to you too. What? What do you want? Why would she ever need a, a self-reflecting widower, buddy? Well, now we can only wait and see when and how he wakes up. I know how to do reflexology massages. I took courses. Oh, that's very good. Our reflex therapist actually resigned. Try to talk to him as much as possible. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Neck, neck, neck. Nick, it's gonna be fine. Tuoma called and asked how you were doing. He told me our website is rated number one. Tuoma's great. He knows so much, can do so much. And we used to tell him not to sit in front of the computer. And he turned out to be so good at business. He's a great kid, so smart. Nick, don't worry, I'm right here. Everything will be fine. Yes, come on in. Excuse me? I was wondering, is Nick doing better? I wouldn't say so. But he woke up so soon, doctor. But his neural activity indicators still aren't normal. Sorry, what does that mean? What that means is the chances that he is going to start talking and walking soon are pretty low. So what do we do? What do we do? Medication isn't what he needs right now. What's more important is, is attention, loving people around him, and positive emotions. Excuse me, I have to go. Oh, sure, of course. See you tomorrow then, right? Okay. See you, Lucia. Oh, she's leaving early today. I wish I could leave early. Hello, Lucia. Tired. Hello there. Happy holiday. Which one? Uh, does it matter what holiday it is? Every day is a holiday now. For example, there's the International Emoji Day or, or the Pi Number Day, 3.14, you know? Thanks a lot. They're very beautiful and surprising. I... I miss our conversations and want to bore you to death again <laughs> and ask you out to dinner. And I'd love if you said yes this time. If you don't have time for the yacht, of course. Thank you. I'd love to join you. Oh, sorry, I just can't do it now because I have things to do and mm, some other time? Lucia. We're not teenagers anymore. If you don't want to. No, no, no. I'll totally have dinner with you. <laughs> but just not now and not today. Today, a relative of mine is getting discharged from the hospital. I have to help. I'm already running late. Excuse me. <clears throat> Do you want me to give you a ride? No, I'm okay. Goodbye now. Hello there. Oh. Hello, ladies. Hi. <laughs> They're preparing the documents for the discharge. 
And then we'll get to go home. Ugh. I don't. What? Well, I don't. Well, I don't want. What is it you don't want, Nick? Live. Li live. I don't live. Look, Nick. I know this is very hard for you. I'm here for you. You'll make it out of this. We're going home now. Everything will be fine. Nick, good morning. Wake up, sleepy. How are you doing? How'd you sleep? Here's a pillow. Here you go. Well then? How did you sleep last night? Sleep good? Everything will be fine. We'll get you on your feet. Yeah? That's just great. Uh, I'll stay here. P please. Stay he here. P -p 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 please, you. Oh. It will all be fine, Nick. Victor, it's so nice to see you. There's no use lying. I understand that I'm no one to you. But why do you lie to me? What am I? A plan B for you? I don't understand what you're talking about. I know what I'm talking about. You can thank my security service. I understand who the... relative you were taking care of was. Have you been spying on me? What else could I do? Well, you could have talked to me first. Talked to you first? About what? If all you do is lie? A relationship is a lie to you. I didn't lie to you, I just... I just didn't tell you everything. It's all the same to me. I'm so sorry. Tioma, maybe you should visit your dad. Mom, we've already talked about this. You only have one father, that's it. Mom, enough. Look, Mom, Federico is calling again. He says he wants to have a talk with you. Tilma, but we've already written a message to him. He says that personal contact is important. You know, I don't speak Italian, and I'm not very good with computers. Mom, you're going to be great. We need the discounts for the fabrics. You're such an entrepreneur. Where do I look? Right here. Um, buongiorno, Signore Federico. Oh. Signor Federico. Luci, uh... Uh-huh. Women with non-standard figures don't realize how beautiful they are. Many of them are still embarrassed about their appearance. We help them believe in themselves and realize they're amazing. So tell us, are your pieces designed for skinny women or are they for plus size ladies? My pieces are designed for all types of women, one and all. <laughs> now we're going to announce a photo contest. Each participant will get a 20% discount and the winner will get a new dress for free. Thank you very much. All right, cut. Was that okay? I was so worried. Everything was yeah. wonderful, don't worry. Can we also film your models? Yeah, sure, no problem. The girls will show you everything. Will you? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. All right, great. 
Mom, are yes? we going to be on TV for real? We are, we are. Listen, Mom, I think that Federico is in love with you. Oh, come on, sweetheart. How would you even know that? No, look, Mom. He raised a discount himself and said that he's coming here on a business trip. Let him come. We'll meet him. Write that to him, all right? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. innocent they are. <gasps> oh, look, he smiled at me. Oh. <laughs> Nadia, what's wrong? I feel bad for them. Boys need to have a father. We need to get you married. Get married? Come on. We'll think of something. Such an amazing dress. It was so blue. Tioma. I saw your mom on television. I know. She's doing great, isn't she? Not too shabby. You totally forgot about me, didn't you? What? You need a boyfriend again for something? Did your mother tell you to date me again, or what? Tioma, I don't understand you. I see you don't understand me. I understood everything, though, even though it was a bit late. You never really loved me. Um, it's just that... Save your excuses, Anya. Come on, guys. Dad, look here. I just downloaded two new action movies and three seasons of your favorite TV shows. Thank you, champ. Thank you for coming over. Let's not get too cheesy. Look, son, forgive me, please. I was wrong. Will you be able to forgive me? I can try, Dad. Thank you, son. What are the new dyes that you have? They're natural? Of course they are. <laughs> Lucia, um, I'm uh, dreaming of love in Russia. Um, I, you see, I think Russian women are the most beautiful women, the most interesting women. Just like you, right? You, as soon as I saw you, I just... Uh, do you know what I'm talking about? You understand what I'm trying oh, to yes. say? <laughs> And I love that Russian women know how to listen. This is very important for me. So tell me about your family. Oh, I've got a big family, right? A mom, a dad, and four sisters. Gemma, the youngest one, is getting married soon. That's all they talk about. They all must love you very much, right? Right. They're waiting for me to get married now. Mm -hmm. They have many kids. I love playing with children. It's so rejuvenating. Mm-hmm. <sighs> But, um, unfortunately, I can't have children of my own. Um, cause, uh, when I was a little boy, I fell ill and... I'm sorry to hear that. No, 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 no. No, don't be sorry, because I know exactly what I want. You see, I dream of having a good and a kind wife and of children. I want to, you know... Hey, what's the word for a... Uh, adoptare? Adopted. Is, is there such a word yeah. for that? Yeah? <laughs> Could you, Lucia, adopt someone else's little children, for example? Uh, Federico, I want you to come to my house. <laughs> come to your house? Yes. <laughs> it would be my absolute pleasure, thank you. It'd be delighted, thank you. Don't count on me tonight. Peter and I are going to the movies. Not a problem, Mom. Have a nice <laughs> evening. <laughs> Lucia, wow. 
It's so beautiful. A real Italian dinner. <laughs> Look, Federico likes Russian poetry. Do you remember anything by heart? Me? No, why? What if you have to entertain him? Yeah. Uh. He also likes it mm -hmm. when someone asks him about his family. Are you instructing me? <gasps> no, why would you think that? Oh, he also loves he children. He loves children. Oh, it must be him. I'll open the door. <gasps> Come in, please. Buonasera. Buonasera. Posso? Welcome to our place. Grazie. This here is oh, for you. thank you. Oh, I've also brought you some chocolate. What? <laughs> yeah, it, it's an Italian confection. Oh. <laughs> I hope you like it. Thank them. you so much. May I take my coat yeah. off? Sure, of course. <laughs> oh. Let me help you. Hello, gorgeous. Hello. <laughs> Buonasera. Uh -huh. Come on in. Uh, do you need help? No, no, no. I'm already done. <laughs> Grazie. You're welcome. Prego. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> so, I would like you to meet Nadia. Federico, Federico. Nadia. Her name in Italian is Esperanza. Oh, <laughs> it's a pretty name. <laughs> uh, sit down, please. Grazie. Beautiful place, huh? Mm, and I love the smell. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, does it really smell nice? <laughs> We've tried. Anyway, bon appetit. Uh, excuse me, but I have to leave. I have an emergency. Wait, but what about me? Uh, it's an emergency. I hope you'll forgive me. Uh, where are you going? Oh, it's a work thing, but you two have a nice evening. She's leaving. Well, I am starving. <laughs> Nick! Nick, I'm here! Nick, are you here? <gasps> Surprise! You know... I just, uh, remembered everything you like and got it at a restaurant. How sweet. You remembered what I like. Of course. Lucia, I have been thinking a lot. Let's start over again. I'm getting back on my feet. I'll be strong for you. Nick, I'm very glad you're doing better. So is it a yes? It's not a yes, it's... No, it means that you can live on your own without me. You can do it. I'm sorry. Hush, 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 hush. Mommy's going to be coming home soon. Mommy's on a date with Federico, an Italian. <gasps> Such a handsome man he is. Mom needs to take care of her personal life. Right. Mom needs to love herself, too. Lucia's the one who doesn't need anything from anyone. Not the Italian. Not the banker. Lucia doesn't need the rich banker man either. Nick had an accident and recovered. But Lucia doesn't need Nick either. What does Lucia want? No one knows. What does Lucia look like? Who knows? Nobody knows much about Lucia. She only helps others. Mom. But never worries about her own needs and desires. She's such a mystery. Mom, isn't that is. enough? How'd it go? Federico invited me to go with him to Italy to meet his mom and sisters. Congratulations. I'm very happy for you. Wow. He's the absolute hottest. He's hot and he's so sweet. Nadia, are you in love? <laughs> yeah. No. Where are 
are you here alone? Hello again. Sorry, I... I knew it. He... He would have come here. He ran away from me. I was picking up a foreign passport on the next street over and left him outside. Are you leaving Russia? Yes, I am. I'm leaving forever. Forever? Why not? I can manage the bank remotely and I have nothing else keeping me here now. Oh, by the way, I wanted to send it with a courier, but since it turned out this way, these are the papers for your father's house. But I already transferred it to your bank. But it's your father's house. I don't want you to do it out of pity for me. Pity has nothing to do with it. I earned enough money from the credit project that you helped me launch. Consider it a bonus, okay? Thanks a lot. I thought you sold it a long time ago. You know, Lucia, I grew up in an orphanage. I never got to know my parents. But you know, it's all in the past. Anyway, if I had anything left from them, even something small, I wouldn't have given it away. Right? Well, okay. I should go. All right, then. Okay. It's... it's time. Yep, I understand. But maybe... you don't have to go anywhere. Maybe I don't. Come with me. It's not very far from here. And this isn't a date, I promise. It's really not a date. Let's do it. <laughs> We got those two about a month ago. Yeah? Yes. Those have been here for a longer time. Good afternoon. Uh, uh this is Zucha. <laughs> Hello. Well, I guess I've shown you everything and introduced you to everyone. Yes. Uh, Victor, I didn't expect this from you. Yes. To be honest with you, I didn't either. But it turns out that a single man has to love something. I have lots of kennels like this one. But don't tell anyone. <laughs> and yet I still don't understand. <laughs> you say you're leaving forever. But then you bring me over here. What is that? Listen, Lucia. I'd really like to try... And, and change my life. Big time. With you. And I'd like to get to know you better. However bitter it may be, to leave. Wait, wait, wait for us, wait. wait! Or to fight. It takes love above all things to come back and make peace. Now a kiss. 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 <laughs> Salute. 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 Oh. 